it is the 17th day of December, 2012, friends. And today we have a picture of the day that comes from Mitchell Crazy Eye, who has some miniature pancakes. It is Mining Man. We're here on the Minecraft server, of course, and we are going to be taking care of a little bit of lighting and uh, regular old-fashioned caving. We have a little bit here that I just found at the end of my, my regular mine shaft, so we're going to take a look at it. And while we're going to talk about our usual things. First of all, Jay Sana was on the server, and he's been caving and mining as well, so good for him. I hope he found lots of diamonds. I didn't have a chance to watch his full episode, but uh, I'm sure fortune came his way. Beef also was on the server recently, and uh, hey, there's some lapis. Already a good trip, in my opinion. Let's get rid of that little bit of stuff there. Get this little bit of light, make sure we don't get any monster spawns creeping up on us. In fact, I already hear a zombie. Is he creeping around over here? No, he is not. I thought he was going to be, but <clears throat> alas, he is not. I think we're safe to get this here lapis. I'm gonna bring out our unbreaking fortune pick. It's fortune three, indeed it is, so we should get Tons of lapis out of this. Beautiful. Look at that. Very good. That's very nice. Very excellent indeed. Um, so anyway, I got some stuff to talk about today. Uh, well, today being, of course, Sunday, the day before. Man, good mining trip already. Um, I went to, uh, up, up with my aunt uh, up to Erie, Pennsylvania. It's uh, just north of where I live. Um, and we, we decided to take a look um, around. We went and saw my uncle, uh, not not my not my aunt's what uh, my aunt's brother, so my uncle, <laughs> and uh, we 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 decided that uh, to go check out something that he's been doing recently. Uh, he recently bought a a big set of cottages by a uh, by a, uh, a park. Oh, hello, Bane of Octopods. Oh, look at this! We got lots of excellent caving to do here this episode. Um, and we we uh, we went over and see his cottages. Basically, they they used to be like basically really low income housing, or I guess if if you were going to to the to the theme park, the the the, the water park right next door, you might want to buy one of those cottages or at least rent it from somebody um, as just like a, a quick place to stay for a few days um, or extremely low income housing. So I did, did I see diamonds? I think I made a saw gravel. Look at this big old cave though. Excellent stuff right here. Lots of stuff to explore. In fact, I might have to continue doing this on a Minecraft episode because this is one really nice cave right here. Um, but uh, we went, we went and saw what he was up to, and um, basically the thing what he's going to be doing with these cottages is basically they're they're trash. They at this point they have they have served their purpose as cottages, and now they're uh, he's just what he's going to do is take the ones that he owns. He's going to uh, strip them of everything, take out all the wood, the paneling, and basically do, do have a big old yard sale, basically, of all the parts of this house, essentially. Um, and um, the furniture he's going to have is going to be extra. And, uh, in fact, he got me some chairs. I'm going to use that Zeldathon. As well as he got, um, he, there's a couch up there that folds out into a bed. So I'm really excited that he's going to be able to give this that. He says it's basically a Christmas present, so... <clears throat> that that's good because otherwise he would just sell it, and, you know. So I'm pretty happy that we that we get to get some uh, some more furniture here for the house. Um, but anyway, when he's when he's finished stripping of it or of anything, he's gonna bulldoze it. I kind of am really interested in going and filming that a big old bulldozing. I think that'd be fantastic. Let's take some of that redstone. I love how the the 3D items look here on the snapshot. That is just um, it's a really good uh, change. From Mojang. I'm gonna grab some coal as well. Our, our supplies are starting to wean a little bit, so it's always helpful to jing -a ling -a ding grab some while we can. And while we were up in Erie, uh, we went to a store called Buybacks. I don't know if it's a chain, um, but I know we have one up in Erie. Basically what they do is they're kind of like the GameStop of uh, DVDs, Blu-rays, and video games, including older video games even, um, which is really nice. Um, they're not a thrift shop because they only specialize in media, basically. Um, 
but I was really excited to be able to go there. I asked my aunt, and she was like, yeah, sure, we can stop over there. And uh, needless to say, I spent a little bit of money <laughs> on uh, some things I found there, things that I thought were well worth their money. I got um, a copy. Oh, ow. Darn guy. Got a copy of Banjo-Kazooie for the N64. Complete in box, I should, I should mention. The box has seen better days, but the manual in the game look absolutely flawless. Whoa, jeez, what is this? Whoa, we are getting bombarded by this creeper cubby up here, I think. We need to go down lower if we want to find some diamonds, though. We're up a little too high. I saw that guy, he's gonna come here. Who, bane of off Wow, I missed. That's okay, we got him though. That looks like it's gonna head up, but I'll follow it for right now. Ow, I didn't get back behind that uh, ledge fast enough. Let's eat some melons. Anyway, I, so I got a copy of Banjo-Kazooie, and uh, I, I was currently borrowing a copy of Banjo-Kazooie from Steph, um, Purple Steph from Zeldathon, in case you're familiar with the Zeldathon team. If not, Steph's a cool lady. She let me borrow her copy of Banjo-Kazooie, Bane of Arthropods. Um, and I'm really excited to be able to play that and have that game on my own so I don't have any pressure. For some reason, I feel like if I have more pressure to play a video game, like I, I have to return it to somebody, it makes me not want to play it for some reason. So I think that having my own copy here is going to make me a little bit more inspired to play Banjo-Kazooie. Maybe I'll do it on stream or something. I'm not sure. It's not like a, it's not like a Let's Play type thing. I kind of just want to do it for fun. Is that all? One lapis? Aw. That's a little disappointing. But oh well. Not a huge deal. Lots of lava here. Oh man, we got a football player. Hello. Back to the rugby fields. <laughs> What's a rugby? I think that's British stuff. Let's uh, pour this on here. And that was a joke, by the way. I know what rugby is. <laughs> in before all the comments are to inform me about you, what about rugby is? What about? Okay, looks like we're gonna need to make some torches. I came a little prepared here, so we're all good. If you can't tell, my voice is completely chill today because I'm feeling good. Uh, what else did I get at buybacks anyway? Because I did get more than this that. Um, I, I found a copy of Star Fox for the Super Nintendo. And uh, if, if, you're, if you're a classic gamer, you know how awesome of a game Star Fox was. Um, it has the Super uh, FX chip in it. So I'm, I'm really excited to pop that onto the Black Magic. Uh, or not the Black Magic, my, my Frame Meister uh, scaler. So. Right, th th this game's gonna look real good, all properly upscaled. We're gonna, we're gonna have fun with this thing. That's actually a reference to Star Fox. If you can name it in the comments, you win an internet cookie, redeemable for points, which are redeemable for gold tickets, which are redeemable for, for coins, which are redeemable for, for, for gold stars, which are redeemable for a quarter of a penny. Per 1,000 gold stars. For more information, please visit your local tax office. Your local, your, your local tax orifice. Okay, I think we might want to start heading out now, because we're already at 8 minutes here in the episode. I got more from buybacks, though. I got two more things. Um, Star Fox, Banjo-Kazooie. A newer game I got was uh, Rayman Origins for the PlayStation 3. Um, Rayman Legends, coming out for the Wii U. Uh, here in January, I believe. So I am really excited about that game, and I thought that I haven't played the original, so I thought, uh, why not grab the original while I see it at a low price? All these games, of course, are used, but uh, I inspected them, and they all are up to my standards, so uh, they should be fine. Hello. I need your coal, sir. Excuse me. There you go. Uh-oh. Oh, no. Oh, oh, I thought it went down there. <laughs> nope. Silly me. And the last thing I got was actually a movie. A movie. And that would be I got a copy of uh, Pirates of the Caribbean on Stranger Tides. I've actually never seen that movie. So I think I'll be popping that on into the Blu-ray uh, PS3. Whoa! Uh, that guy was not happy with his life. Um... We're, we're gonna go and watch that tonight since I've never seen the movie. I've... I'm a huge fan of Pirates of the Caribbean, which is why I'm really shocked that I haven't actually uh, watched it yet. So, washed it. And that's why I got to buy backs. Um, I love going to thrift stores and stuff. Uh, there's a, a, a rub Reddit subreddit, a Reddit subreddit uh, called uh, Game Collecting um, that, I, that I follow religiously. 
in that they, 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 there's a lot of really cool video game collectors on there that show off, you know, their finds of the week and stuff. And, um, it's really cool because there's a lot of really rare games out there and some people could spend so much money on that. I personally can't, but, um, I, li I like buying some old games, being able to pop them in, give them a shot, especially now that the virtual console for the Wii is going to be probably a little barren. Ooh. And we're hopping. The game is stuck. Hello. 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 Okay. There we go. Space bar was the button I need to press. I was pressing shift as if I was infinitely crouching, not infinitely jumping. But uh, I fixed it. It's all good. Hello. I heard that creeper. You guys probably heard that creeper too, but I do not see that creeper. Oh, there he is. Let's get rid of you. Uh, yeah. Oh, oh. Clever girl. Got to get some of that gunpowder there because we need a... Did I get pants? I got some pants from that, uh, from the football player. Thanks, guy. So, yeah, that, that's what I've been up to. Um, uh, as for the YouTube channel, uh, we're, we're uh, coming out today. I got some Donkey Kong Country for you guys. Um... Soon I'm going to have an MCIRL in which we destroy a bus, a Bustin, a Bustin Jeever, a Justin Beaver, Bieber card uh, that I got. Uh, we're we're going to give that a shot. Um, we're going to try to destroy it in a few, several different ways. Make sure it will never live again. Ah, here we go. Interesting way out. Um, but yeah, we're going to have fun with that. So I don't know if it will be coming out today. Um, but maybe another day. I hope you guys don't mind these IRL videos and like uh, stuff like related to you know just not Oh Man, this this has to be lit up There we go. I hope you guys don't mind that because I really enjoy making these IRL videos Especially the, uh, uh, the interview videos. Um, if you haven't got the idea I'm trying to make them completely weird and stupid just 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 as a joke in whoa. Hello Whoa, hello. Hello Oh, I thought I heard another one behind me. Whoa, hey, buddy. Brain of arthropods. Hello. Hello. All right, I think we got to get out of here. We've strayed too far from home, folks. Whoa. Um. Okay, I'm a little lost. It looks like you might get yourself a extended edition. Let's see a little bit of light over there. Let's see if we can carve our way on over. So yeah, we got some Donkey Kong Country for you today. Um, and the one thing I wanted to bring back is a old show that I used to do on a, a secondary channel, um, and it, it was really bad. Uh, I mean, it, at times it was it was pretty darn horrible. Uh, it's called Enum, uh, random things to keep you busy. And the, the basic story of the show is that it's uh, completely something random, and it's probably less than thirty seconds long, and it's just a short little humorous thing that makes you go, what? And I think that's one of my favorite types of comedy. It's just stuff where you say something and somebody will look at you like, I have no idea what you're trying to do here. And you're just like, lol. So uh, th th that, in my opinion, is one of my favorite types of comedy. If it is even type of comedy. Just like, um, I can't remember a comedian. Dimitri Martin is kind of like that. Where his, it, and I don't want to say dry humor, but you know. So, uh, that's pretty much all I have to say. But I, I do want to show you guys uh, where we are under the water. Uh, we can just give it a good old-fashioned torching. Torchic. Alright, where are we? Home's right there. I want to show you guys uh, the donations, because uh, um, a few guys have been donating to the, uh, the account. And uh, one in particular said that he did donate to charity first, and uh, I, I horribly recommend it. Um... I, I don't know. Personally, I feel like I want to uh, stop allowing donations soon. Um, I can't say that I'm making off of YouTube. I'm, I'm not making like tons of money, so it, 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 the, 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 the donations are appreciated, but I don't know. I've always felt kind of... I felt like donations are fun, and that, that, that uh, it's a good way of you guys being able to help back instantly. Especially if you, for some reason, don't like to watch ads and use some sort of evil ad blocking program that you know so being able to donate is a good uh, alternative kind of like 
pay your specs, I guess. I don't know. Alright, so let's go up here. And... Okay. But I don't know. Uh, I'm, I am I like donations because they, they help out, but at the same time, I would much prefer people donate to charity, so... Um, I have some plans, and they, they inv do involve the... Hey, man. It's my donation hall. Here. Come here. Ooh. Hello? Hello? Is he up there? Why is he up there? What an idiot. Screw that guy. Whoa! Holy crap! Oh, man! What a surprise artist! Oh, man. That was good. Bravo, Enderman. You, you scared the pants right off me. Hopefully he doesn't show up. Anyway, we got some three donations here that I have to read off real quick. Hyper donation from Manipulated Excess of $5. Thank you, sir, for your hyper donation. I really appreciate it. We have a mega donation of George G. He has a nice little smooth stance on block of $7. Thank you, sir. Uh, you are you are Mr. George G. Uh, his last name is not also George. Um, and uh, lastly, a super donation. He got the nice little chiseled block for his for his super donation of $20. And that's from NameJS. Like, uh, I believe somebody have, like, it's like noms or something. People have told me how to pronounce that, and, uh, I don't remember. You don't need to remind me in the comments. It's okay. I'll, f I'll, I'll ask somebody who's from that part of the world, and his last initials are, so thank you. Um, <laughs> it's time for your random opinion. Okay, so my opinion is that the $5 bill is probably the best money amount. Like, it's so flexible. Like, it's it's $20 feels, and $20 and $10 bills feel like they're too much. Like, they're hard to give to a friend and stuff. It, it just feels like too much. You, you always feel like you want change. Well, a $1 bill is too small. So I say the $5 bill is the best bill. Good morning, Minecraft. <laughs>